Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on February 28th, 2025. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update, earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Always starting out here looking at amazing images of our sun today, looking at the last 48 hours of imagery. We did have that large plasma filament top left-hand region. Watch in the last few images another plasma filament eruption but on the back side, outgoing regions. Looking at the last 48 hours, cresting into view. This is all incoming, getting ready for the Earth-facing party. Coronal mass ejection from that plasma filament. Nothing major, it was headed straight north. But the most recent plasma filament that ejected, cresting out of view, definitely did produce a coronal mass ejection visible on Lasco 3. And that's the last 48 hours. 304 angstroms looking at multi-spectrum, pointing out the last 48 hours of events. Big solar tornado spinning on the surface of the sun, bottom left-hand side. And there's that most recent coronal mass ejection from most likely a plasma filament. We also have the coronal hole wind stream which our solar winds are steady right now, over 700 kilometers per second. Looking at another light here, just amazing images of our sun today. Brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory, mixed with daily events worldwide. Here we're able to see the magnetic fields of the sunspot regions in motion. And thank you so much for pressing play today. Don't forget to give a thumbs up if you're enjoying these images and information shared with daily events worldwide there's a look at our sunspot regions in motion and here are our earth facing sunspots as there are five four zero zero six ready to go four zero zero nine quickly forming we're going to be keeping an eye on those during this earth facing event current space weather conditions we are under level one minor Geomagnetic storm impacts from the coronal hole wind stream at one point, 1,000 kilometers per second, but right now, 763 kilometers per second, which is over double our average solar wind speeds. Showing the solar X-ray flux, multiple C-class solar flares, a few strong ones overnight. Proton flux is steady. Geomagnetic activity was at a 6 yesterday, topping out, and is now steady at a KP4. Space weather conditions, current space weather prediction center showing the incoming coronal hole wind stream and as well coronal mass ejection impact dates at the top. No new CMEs coming our way since last night's update. Tonight's aurora forecast versus tomorrow's across Canada. Look up. Looking at our solar winds here, you can see the graph. It topped out at 847 kilometers per second today. Yesterday it topped at 1,068 kilometers per second. It was very momentary, but boy, oh boy, our magnetic field is getting hammered right now by the solar winds. Having a look at the density on the left, solar winds, solar wind speeds on the right-hand side. Big impacts throughout the day. Solar winds topping over 800 kilometers per second. Just amazing times to be alive and grateful to be able to share these images with you. Now looking at the pressure on the left-hand side. During this most recent coronal hole wind stream event, which put us into a level one geomagnetic storm. Now let's have a look at LASCO 3 showing the wide spectrum. Showing from February 20th up until now, all of the CMEs that we've seen this past week. We had a couple Earth-facing events, but nothing major. There was a lot of backside activity. Twenty fourth into the twenty fifth. Big CME there. And then on twenty seventh. And then into the 28th today, this is where we saw the most recent coronal mass ejection from a plasma filament eruption on the outgoing 
sunspot regions. Now let's have a look at earthquakes the past 24 hours as we're sitting at over 230 earthquakes the past 24 hours. Deepest being here, 4.5 Fiji. 545 kilometer depth. Followed by a 5.0 there, Tonga. Tuol, Indonesia, 5.6 earthquake, 151 kilometer depth. As well, the Philippines seeing activity. Northern Philippines, Basco. Northern India, Nepal, 5.5 yesterday. 5.2 here in Tixi, Russia, right on the fault line. That's a sizable earthquake and rare earthquake to report. Seismicity across the Aleutian Islands and into Alaska increasing. Increasing across the West Coast as well. 3.2 Hawaiian Island. Let's have a look at Kilauea Summit Caldera today, showing infrared imagery as there are soft spots in the southern parts of the rim right now. Waiting for quite possibly its 12th eruption since a couple days just before Christmas. Stay tuned as we will be keeping an eye on Kilauea Volcano, one of 77 active and erupting volcanoes around the world. USGS reporting 235 here in this map area. Notable activity increasing across Texas. And this is just east of fracking industries. Ackerley, Texas, 4.8 magnitude. Minor aftershocks throughout the region. Most likely industry-related event. Looking across California. 110 earthquakes from Los Angeles north to the Ferndale. As well, notable earthquake here today in Tlaxmalac, Mexico, 5.0 magnitude and increasing seismicity, 4.2 being the largest. Puerto Rico, South American plate, quiet, 4.7 earthquake there, south of Africa, right on the plate line. And notable, that 5.2 earthquake, eastern Russia, right on the fault line. Many seismic events and increasing over the past couple weeks. Stay tuned with daily events worldwide, keeping humanity aware and prepared. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up, subscribe, hit your notification bell. Make sure you are set to all if you don't want to miss an update. And if you live in an earthquake prone zone, please be ready. Have a plan because an earthquake can strike at any time. Hashtag no fear here, just aware and prepared. Now let's have a look at the air quality forecast brought to you by the active and erupting volcanoes. Still notable plumes coming off of Kilauea and as well Kamchatka, Aleutian Islands, Mexico, notable players. Overlooking Southeast Asia, Indonesia and Australia. No new major eruptions to report, but intense sulfur dioxide emissions across Eastern Europe. And then South Africa and parts of Western Europe. Big SO2 plume coming from the north, most likely the Iceland. Now let's have a look at world weather brought to you by Windy.com. We've got a Colorado low coming out of the south. That will be mixing with a cold high. Going to be a roller coaster of temperatures all week long. High pressure ridge in between each low pressure system as they come through. Strong blizzard like conditions for parts of eastern Canada, Quebec, and as well northern Ontario. And then watching the long range big system in the North Atlantic, big systems affecting North America. Lots of rain in the long range forecast. But things will be warming up for the first week of March. Having a look here over South America and Africa. Cyclone affecting, affecting southern parts of Madagascar. And as well, watch for intense daily evaporation rains and storms across South America. We've also got a cyclone which will be affecting eastern shorelines of Australia. Looks like it will be making impact 
north of Sydney and then scooting straight across the eastern parts of the Australian continent. And then watch for more cyclones to form heading towards Madagascar in the long range. And that was a look at our world weather. Thank you so much for pressing play again. We're going to leave you here looking at our upper level winds showing and depicting our northern polar vortex. As we are still in winter, we've got another three weeks to go. And this is the end of February. So everybody, welcome to March tomorrow. Give a like, give a share, comment down below. And stay safe and healthy. Hope you enjoyed the show. Much love, stay aware and prepared, stay young and have fun, and get your daily due.